Good morning, my friends. How are you guys doing? Welcome to The McGuire Life. My name is Jeremy McGuire. For those who are new to my channel, welcome back if you are a loyal subscriber. Today is Wednesday, November 29th. 2023 and today's video I will be showing y'all how to troubleshoot your soundbar audio issues you're having with audio going off automatically and with the new Dish Hopper 3 whole home DVR system and Wally receivers, you will receive this voice activated remote powered by Google Assistant so I want to show y'all okay bringing the tripod over here right down there is my surround sound system okay so, I don't have no audio, okay? So, how am I going to resolve that issue? And the reason why I am filming this video is earlier my dad was having trouble with audio on the soundbar in the living room. And that's why I am filming this video for you guys those of you have dish okay can zoom in okay so i have a lg surround sound system now i'm zoomed in now this is the dish remote I will be using. Your dish voice activated Google Assistant remote should look like this too. Okay. Now, I want to come here at the TV. I got dish scapes on for copyright reasons. I don't want no copyright against me. If I have a copyright show or channel on. So you should see a message pop up once I on screen once I push the auxiliary button. I'll zoom in for y'all guys. It should be focus. Focus. It should show right there, auxiliary. There's your big set button right there at the at the top. If you're holding the remote. up and down, you know, horizontal, side to side. But so the set but the set button will be at the top. The TV mode button will be 
next to the set button and the auxiliary button, that's what you want is the auxiliary. So I push auxiliary. Now I got it on magnification and it shows that I read it on the screen here. It should say your remote control is currently set to control your TV or auxiliary device. So what you do, you push your auxiliary button. Now, I'll lower y'all back down again. Okay. Lower y'all down a little bit more. Zoom y'all in. Well, that's farthest I can go. So I'm gonna move y'all up a little bit. Get this tripod to stay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, you see, I don't have the correct input on my surround sound system. So, push auxiliary, and it's on auxiliary mode. Now, what you do, you push your input button. And you go through the inputs on your surround sound system. Okay, so at the moment I am using the auxiliary audio wires that run from the back of the surround sound system to the back of the Joey 3 dish receiver. And you will get audio once you are on the auxiliary mode. Now, if you have Bluetooth and you're using the Joey 3, you can't because you need to have a USB Bluetooth dongle to be able to get the Bluetooth audio feature unlocked. So I will be upgrading to that. feature once I get a USB Bluetooth dongle and I can unlock the Bluetooth audio feature on here so I can eliminate this auxiliary wire that can run sound via Bluetooth so So this will happen if you like accidentally pushed the auxiliary button and push the input button on the remote. And that's how to troubleshoot your audio issues on your DISH Google Assistant remote.
So thank you guys for watching this video. And if it helped you with your problems with your surround sound system, and I forgot to mention it, and if you had uh, turned off your surround sound system by mistake, I'll show you all how to do that too. In case y'all are having issues with that too. So if you're going to be watching TV and then all, all of a sudden you accidentally hit the auxiliary button and turn off the surround sound system by accident if you're trying to turn off the Joey or Hopper or your TV and accidentally push the auxiliary button and turn off the surround sound system. So what you do, I got the, the remote and set mode. Okay. So you'll see that there. So what y'all do? Push and hold auxiliary. See this message pop up? Now, going back down again. to your surround sound system. Grab the remote. Make sure it's in auxiliary mode or aux mode. See this power button right here? Push the power button. Your surround sound system should come on. And make sure your input is on the correct mode. Mine is set to aux mode. And there you go. You got your audio fixed. So when you're watching TV, guys, when you have dish, do not, do not rub your finger off the remote, off the top of the remote, to the left side of the remote, because these are your mode buttons right here. Sat, TV, auxiliary, input. So, I wanted to show you all that too. Well, all right, my friends, thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to make that clear for those of you who have dish and have a backlit Google Assistant remote like I do. And make sure you have your surround sound system or sound bar on the correct input you got to make sure it's turned on and yes plugged in too you got to make sure of that because sometimes you'll think you have it plugged in but you don't but you got to make sure it's plugged into electric power and make sure it's working properly and make sure you're on the correct input or else it's not going to work and give you audio. So, and plus you gotta make sure your TV input is 
on the correct HDMI input on the TV. So, so make sure y'all be aware of that. So, I'm glad this video was helpful and remember, God loves you and I love you with all my heart. And stay safe during this holiday season. God bless y'all and I love y'all with, with all my heart. God bless.